What's up everyone? Welcome to another video walkthrough here with the 66 property. Today I'm in Mayrim uh, near the international school called Prem. Very prestigious, prestigious school here in northern Thailand. Probably the top school in northern Thailand. At this beautiful home which is made in a modern, uh, you know, mixed lana colonial style home with these long passageways all around uh, all around the first floor and uh, also downstairs it looks beautiful this is a property that is for sale currently and it ha it's it has actually three different structures let me show you real quick this is uh, six bedrooms total four in the main house two in the guest house so it's a good thing I'm here actually on the first floor right now because this is over here is the guest house. This has two bedrooms, each with their own bathroom. Six ba bedrooms, six bathroom uh, property. And uh, over there is the fitness area or what could be used as a fitness area uh, if you wanted to, but designed uh, originally designed as a commercial property. But that could be easily be for fitness, put up some machines, or you uh, put up like a little boxing gym there or a weight rack, weight rack down there. Okay, let me just continue to use this upstairs area to move around a little bit. We have the four by 13 meter swimming pool. Look at this beautiful lake view here in Mayrim next to the river. This is not the river, this is just a man-made lake. And the river is actually on the other side, uh, maybe around 800 meters that way, much further down. Um, all this, this, all this land here has been raised. Millions of baht have been spent on raising all that land over there. It's the same owner that owns all this land, and he's raised everything, including this house, to avoid any kind of flooding problem. And there has not been a single flood in this area since they did that. Over there, we have a barbecue area, pool area. Pool pump is actually underneath there, under uh, underground. But you can do some cooking over there. I'll go down there in a second and show you. Up here, we have three big bedrooms. Look at these big windows here. So this is the master bedroom. Now this house comes unfurnished. So you can furnish it exactly like you want. Uh, and we can also help you in finding the furniture that you need in your taste. If you want modern, we'll find modern, high quality for you. A lot of people, they... You know, they, they furnish their homes when they sell them, but usually the quality of the furniture is not really up to the style and the quality of the home itself. And here, the owners want to make sure that you can decide exactly what kind of furniture you want. And, uh, you know, we're able to help you with that as well um, in case you wouldn't know where to get it. All right, so this master bedroom has a walk-in closet space here. This would be built-in closet space. And over here, we have the bathroom, master bathroom, with shower and everything. Now, there's some things missing here, but they will be built after. The, the glass door, etc. But today, I just, I'm up here. I want to show you guys that this property is coming up for sale very soon. Well, it is for sale now, but it's, you know, it's just finished. It's brand new. All right, let's walk over here. Now this is a small bedroom, but this does not have a bathroom, so this could be used as an office space with access out to, again, the colonial style. Look at this. Look how much space there is. And there's actually wind blowing here from time to time. You can feel the breeze here, you know. And you can put in some furniture here, all kinds of stuff you could put in here. Um, it would be quite nice. Some outdoor furniture, I should say. All right, let's go to the second bedroom, which is here. This is the second, you could call it a second master because it's really, really huge. Massive, massive bedroom here. This is like 37 square meters, uh, I believe. And there, and here we have again, walk-in closet space here. Again, this is something that the seller will build for you, built in with uh, shelves and, and closet space, so you don't have to worry about that at all, but it's just not, it's just not built yet. Check this out, you know. 
a big bedroom here, a big bathroom here as well with separate toilet. And here you would have a glass door. All right. And here again, this bedroom has its own private little balcony here. I mean, come on. Look how beautiful and quiet this is. You wake up, you come out to this area, and you just pick one of these for your girlfriend or wife who's laying in bed, right? That's like the ep epitome of romance right there. You wake up, the first thing you do is get her a flower. All right. So here we are. All right, uh, let me just go back down, actually. There's no reason for me to come back here. And here we are back. Or not back, but here we are downstairs. And check out, so this is another bedroom here. We have a guest toilet over here. So this is the guest toilet. And over here we have, turn on the lights here. And this is another big, big room, uh, which can be a bedroom easily. Or if you want to, you could have a separate room here. In fact, I think if I wasn't gonna use, unless my parents and mom was staying here, if it was just me, I would build my office right here instead. You know, build the office here, and you have access to the pool right here as well. And there you go. This is the, the bathroom right here. All right. Now, the thing that's very cool about this property is really the location next to a lake. So here we have the living room area now or the downstairs area because it's going to be combined everything so including in the sales price of this house depending on the final price there is included a kitchen built in the kitchen will be built right over here this will be kitchen and then you have dining over here and over here you could have some uh here's the living room area or living area and then you have the tv here in fact, I think what would be better would be if you have the dining here instead. So you have dining table here, and then you have a lot of space. Yeah, you could really do it the way you want to because if you do have dining over here, you have a really, you can just get out here as well. But I think I'd prefer dining. There's more space there. So you put dining over there and living room over here. Yeah. So here you go. Here we are. Check out this view. Look how amazing. Look how much space there is out here as well. Put in a ton of outdoor furniture here. Dining here instead, actually. Just eat outside every night. Here you can also prepare some cooking. There's possibility to put in some cooking here. There's a sink. And you can grill and cook over here. and Have a barbecue on the side here. Here you go, this is the, so this is the fitness over here. Now, as you can see, you could do a lot over here. And uh, obviously if someone is interested in, you know, when someone is interested in buying, they can repaint all this stuff because this was originally built, supposed to be like this restaurant area. But it's pretty cool. So let's go upstairs. So here you go, here I am on the upstairs area here. So here you could easily have, put up some fitness machines. I personally would put in a couple of heavy bags here, put down a mat and you do some boxing, a boxing training, yoga, you know, yeah, yoga, I guess for the women. So you got, you got yoga, yoga area, or if you want to do boxing and downstairs, I would probably put, uh, Downstairs, I would put the, the exercise equipment. Have some nice, you know, racks over here, weight racks. So that would be perfect. All right, let's go over to the guest house area. Here we are. So this is this is the guest bedroom right here. Please keep clean. And here you have 
the bathroom area as well. So this is one room. And, sorry, upstairs, he'll have the second room. Let's go up and go. It is very hot in Mayrim right now. So there's some work being done right now, but. So this is the second guest bedroom here, which is the nicer one, more space. You got a shower over here. And toilet here. Check it out. Nice to see exposed beams as well. Nice little touch. And when your guests wake up, come out here. You know, this is not a bad place to wake up, you know. Looking at this beautiful colonial style. Colonial and Lana style, truthfully. With the roof like that, that's Lana. But the columns there, the passageway outside and uh, around the rooms. So that's very colonial for sure. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. <sighs> I'm out of breath already. And uh, you know, if there's interest in this property or any other property here in Chiang Mai, please do get in touch with us here at 66 Property. Have a great day.